Welcome to Bass and Bonsai. That's how we do it. Let's do it. And it begins. All right, guys, welcome to this is part three uh, wiring. I think what a lot of people in Bonsai struggle with are wiring branches, trunks, stuff like that. And I'm going to start right off with the, you know, whether you're using copper, aluminum, you want the thickness to pretty much the old test of like and it depends on how far away but you should be able to whether it's close or a little further away if you can bend that branch that wire should hold and be able to bend it now applying that to our tree I've only got a few different thicknesses here I go from this thick of this wire which is probably iffy probably need doubled to a real thick one this size which should bend these branches so this is probably this is probably what I'm going to use but I figure I'll go ahead and explain more you know go into a little more detail on wiring up whether it be the dead part of the tree which while it's still alive you don't want to try to bend a act true dead wood up it's dead and will probably not bend much at all but this stuff is still pretty uh, movable so you can wire it up like you would a normal branch this one I just cut off an old tree over here that was in the yard now, as far as wiring, and people wonder, well, how do you know which way to, you know, do I start going this way, or do I need to go this way? Well, you want an idea of, you know, which way that branch is going. I'm going to try to explain the whole, you know, you want it to tighten up as you bend it. So if I'm going to bend and twist this like this, I want to wrap like this, because as I'm twisting, and I'll just show you real quick. like this so as I'm twisting that up I, I'm also kind of twisting and tightening that wire around that branch so I'll show you that if you go the opposite way and say you're like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way now it would still work I mean I've had my fair share of wrapping them the wrong way and that's this branch I'll show you in a minute um, so you know it sometimes you're bending two different ways on one branch and it so it'll be loosening in one point but so now say I still want to continue that and I want to bend it like this and I want to twist it like that see how that's actually uncoiling as I'm bending so that's where you need to know which way you're initially you know starting your bends and then see how it also kinked right there because as it loosened it it lost the hold it had on the branch also so i hope that better explains it for some of you that are real new into bonsai or wiring at all is why you want to go a certain way now on some smaller foliage it's not a big deal and they recommend you know if you're starting going with this branch and this branch you you start with one wire with two branches so you'd want to come here and if they recommend if you like start one going this way then I'd want to also come with this one going the opposite way away from it but if you're you know that's on branching because you're you know just to where the wire holds but you if you had to you could also go this way you know it's a little harder to figure out which way to start your wrap but if you had to do it, you, you can also wrap that branch the same way if you want them both to bend and twist in, in that way. The main thing you want to do, or you could just uh, get the wire to stay in one spot and then you know use one wire for each branch. If you had to or wanted to do it that way, there's certain circumstances where that requires it. 
But for this purpose on this tree, I'll get rid of this junk. And you can also use old wire if that's all you have. You want to try to get it as straight as you can. There's a few tricks on the internet. And I've watched, uh, I think Nigel Sanders had one of his guys. I can't remember that guy's name. But you can wrap like a, wrap this around one end and this around the other. And you pull them real tight and it, it tends to straighten out a used wire if you have some that you've unwrapped for whatever reason without cutting it off on certain things you can that's okay we're gonna wire up this tree now this wire is just too thick I was hoping it might work but no it's not the branch just isn't big enough for that so I'm gonna double this up more than likely maybe even triple it but I'm gonna start it around here and I'll wrap it around this trunk and then around this trunk and then I'll probably add another one it'll probably take at least two of these that's the next size biggest size I have maybe even three to get these twisted around the way I need them to go so buckle up hang on here we go this way
Okay, hope you liked the wiring part of this little series. I'm going to stop it here and look forward to the next video. And we're going to, you know, bending the trunk. And I may even bend some of these and I may add guy wires and wire them together to pull them up. But uh, look forward to that one. So if you like this little bit about uh, showing you how to wire, I'm not the greatest at wiring. But if you like that little video kind of explaining some of how you wire and it doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to get it wired without trying to scar up the tree too much. And I got a little scar right here. I tried the big wire initially and it, it just didn't work right. So, but that should be fine. It shouldn't hurt the tree. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. It's down below. It gives it a good thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Bass and Bonsai, subscribe to this channel now and help share this channel. Tell your friends, your neighbors, anybody you know. And like always, guys, thanks for watching. Now get out of here and go bass and bombs. Thing.